Tiana and I'm back with another video. In the beginning, God gave me a clean slate. <laughs> That's like my favorite part of that movie. Welcome all new subscribers that I have from my cousin Kia. It's like 300 of y'all. Oh my goodness. The love is real. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. Yeah, we definitely gotta do what we talked about. Today's video is just gonna be about achieving your goals, positivity, renewing your mind, changing the way you think altogether. I want you to remember these two words throughout the whole video. One would be consistency and two would be discipline. Now, you probably, I'm pretty sure you've heard these words before, but I just want to say you are not always going to be motivated. Like you're not always going to be motivated. You're going to wake up those mornings and you're going to be like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. Like you want to lay there on social media for 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes before you get up. Shoot, if you me, you won't be laying there for like three hours <laughs> on social media before you get up. Like I am the biggest procrastinator. I have to get that out of my life and I'm trying. It's definitely gonna take consistency and discipline. There's gonna be those words where you're gonna have to tell yourself, get your A up <laughs> and go do what you gotta do. Like get a planner, get a calendar, write notes, put them up on the wall, write an affirmation for the month and just recite it every day when you wake up make yourself do it you literally control your own life you're not a child you don't have an alarm your parents don't have to wake you up anymore they're not the ones disciplining you anymore you have to discipline yourself now so wake up tell yourself okay yes i'm gonna go get this done today i don't have to work today so guess what i'm not gonna waste my day laying here in bed all day i'm gonna get up i'm gonna go grocery shopping i'm gonna go make a list i'm gonna make a youtube video today like i'm not like i'm me it's using an example like I'm off today. I've been I'm off for the next couple of days. So I'm like, what can I do? Like I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Even though it's Sunday, it's the Sabbath. Okay. It's not really the Sabbath. The Sabbath was yesterday. But anyway. Also I would wanna say do what you wanna do. Don't do something because somebody else wants you to do it. Don't do it because your parents did it. Don't do it because you admired a person who did it before. I mean that's still that person. You might have admired that person, but it may not be for you. Another part of this video is going to be about renewing your mind, renewing your thoughts, and speaking positivity over your life altogether. Okay, so we can think ourselves into depression. We can think ourselves into just negativity, bad things. And if you think negative, bad things can happen around you. You go around a negative Nancy, you're never going to have a good day. <laughs> like your your day is not going to be good if you're negative. Wake up in the morning and tell yourself you're going to have a good day. I don't care how your day was yesterday. I don't care what today is. I don't care if it's a freaking anniversary of something that you was in love with before and it ain't there. No, I don't care. Like wake up, tell yourself it's going to be a good day because that ish don't matter. Like it don't. Like at the end of the day love yourself Be positivity over your life if you see if you catch yourself thinking negative like pay attention to your thoughts pay attention to what you say out of your mouth always catch your words change it and if it's something that's not true like even if it's something that hasn't happened yet change it around speak positivity over your life and watch how it comes to you like it will I, I promise you it works like that if you speak positivity over your life it will come to you e like even if it's not true already it, it will become true don't tell yourself oh i hope that i'm going to get this like tell yourself i'm going to get this one thing like and work towards it work towards it it's something you shouldn't even have to work towards just literally just change your thoughts change the way you think and it just happens like for instance, this YouTube thing, like I even told everybody about this already, but like, cause it was just like, wow. I woke up in the afternoon, probably like, in fact, it probably was like 12, one o'clock, something like that. And I'm looking at my YouTube creator, create, I don't know. I'm looking at my YouTube creator app and I'm like, I only got 25 followers. And somebody had just, you know, DM me earlier that day and asked me like, yo, how's your YouTube channel going? Whatever, and I'm like, and I was, that's what made me think about it. Like, I'm like, it's going okay. like. It ain't going how I want it to because my goal was to have 100 subscribers by the end of January because I started it January 1st. 
So my goal was to have 100 subscribers by the end of January and it's the end of January. So I'm sitting there like, I'm looking, I'm like, I only got 25 subscribers. This is going nowhere how I wanted to go. Like no way how I wanted to go at all. How am I going to change this around? Like within a week, like literally we got like a couple days left in the month. Then at the, I got caught myself saying that, like, yo, doubting myself, like, yo, it's not going to happen. It's not positive that, I mean, it's not, it's not possible it's going to happen. Like, I just took three weeks to get 25 subscribers. How the heck am I going to get 75 in a couple weeks? Like, come on. Unless I go ahead and go start buying, and I'm not, I'm not doing that. Like, it was never that deep. Yeah, so, like, I changed my thoughts around. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Forget it. I don't care how many days I got left. I'm going to reach my goal. I'm going to get 100 subscribers and buy the end of January. Facts. Like, told myself yeah like I had to give myself a little pep talk motivational you know <laughs> and next thing you know not even an hour after that happened and like I had told myself that like I'm going to get it my cousin gives me a shout out on YouTube she got a hundred and sixty something thousand subscribers like what the heck it was so unexpected though like it was so random like and it was so weird because it happened like right after I just sit here and told myself, oh, I'm not gonna reach my goal. Then I changed my thoughts around. I said, oh, yeah, I'm gonna reach it. Forget it. Like, I don't care how many days I got, I'm gonna get it. Like, and next thing you know, she gives me that shout out. I got over 300 subscribers now. Like, and literally, they all came in one day. That same day, same exact day. You have to tell yourself that good things are gonna happen around you. And they will have to speak positivity over your life. Like, oh, for the last month of December, like, despite all of the bull crap that I went through last year, all of the stuff that I even went through in December alone, I, I just kept telling myself, yo, I feel a breakthrough coming my way. I feel like something good, something great is about to happen. Everything that they took from me, God's about to get back to me 10 times more. Like I already, I got to feel it. Just, you have to always believe something good is about to happen. Change your thoughts. Like, even if you get like a bad feeling, change it, change it around. Like you really, you have so much control over your own life and over your body, over your thoughts, over what you do, over what can happen around you. Just change it. You really have that power and you have to believe it too. Not just, you know, saying something out there. You have to really believe what you say out of your mouth is gonna be true. Like I couldn't just tell myself, yeah, I'm gonna get these hundred subscribers and be like, and in the back of my mind telling myself, uh, no, I'm not. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying something out of my mouth, but it ain't really, I don't really think it. Like. I really thought to myself that it was gonna happen. Another thing about positivity that a lot of people don't really talk about is being selfish. Do not be selfish in this world. It's not all about you. There are billions of others in this world. Do something good for someone else. Take time out of your day, hold the door, tell someone they look beautiful. You don't even, it doesn't even take spending money to do this, like literally. It does not take spending money to make somebody else's day better. And like, I'm the type of person, even if like I'm having a bad day and not like one of those days, and it's hard for me to even change my thoughts around. Helping other people makes me feel better. So, I mean, everybody might not be like this, but you can always help someone else. Like you can always tell somebody how beautiful they look, how, oh, you like their shoes. Even if you don't like their shoes, say, oh, I really like those shoes. Oh, you look so good today. Like hold the door for somebody, you know? cook some food bring your neighbor some like you never know what type of day someone else is having and you can really change it you can turn it around and make it so much better than what it was be, always be thoughtful of others and if you be good you feel good you do good then nothing but good can surround you like if you are a good person if you are genuinely a good person no one can be mean to you like literally everybody loved me like because I'm a good person like I give off good vibes I give off positive vibes I'm never negative about certain things like and if somebody is mean to me they feel bad about it like it don't last because at the end of the day I'm a child of God people are not you can't mess with God's kids come on <laughs> you you really can't take time out of your day like it doesn't even take a minute like it doesn't take two minutes and if you and if you want to be a really good person Take even more time. Do something good for somebody where you're not getting anything in return. Do something that does not benefit you at all. Go above and beyond for someone just because. Like, I do this all the time at work mainly because I know 
I work with people who are literally at their lowest. Like they're at the lowest point of their life. Go volunteer at a church, a soup kitchen, a hospital. Cause we could always use volunteers at the hospital. Like I just want you to do it. Just And then once you see the smile on their face, you might feel good yourself. That's just how I am. I don't know. I don't know how everybody else is, but like making other people feel good makes me feel even better. And don't be too proud to, you know, serve the people around you. Don't, don't ever feel like you're too good to do something for somebody else. Think about what I'm saying. Go ahead and take that and utilize it. Bring your teacher breakfast tomorrow. Even though your coworker's car is in the shop, take them home from work tomorrow. Don't let them catch your Uber. Don't ask for gas money. Just go ahead and take them. It really feels good when you do something good for someone else. I would really love to hear about how you've made someone else's day good or how you reached your goal by being consistent and positive and disciplined. I would like to hear about it. I want to hear about how you went above and beyond. I want to hear about how you told someone they look beautiful and they freaking smiled from ear to ear. Tell me. I want to hear about it. You don't have to mention names. And also, if you want some tips on how you can renew your mind, just go ahead. Hit my DM at Black Brianna. You can email me. I'll have all my contact information down below. But anyway, go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.